Well, welcome back. This is Xable.com. We're here at the Power Hockey Cup 2008, presented by Autobach, and we're in Minneapolis, Minnesota, at Augsburg College. And I'm here with uh, Kirk Ashman from uh, the Toronto... Lake Raiders. The Toronto Lake Raiders. Of course, you guys have played today already. Yes. And, and you actually played against Calgary, who's coming up here against the Michigan Mustangs. Yep. And they played pretty tough against you guys. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a tough, grueling game. Uh, three nothing, but it was a game that really tired me out. And uh, who's, the, who's the players to watch out for on Calgary? Um, definitely, you've got to watch out for number 13, Mike Faulkner, on, on the Calgary Selects. Uh, he's got a wicked shot, backhand and forehand. You would definitely have to watch out for Keith Bourbonnet. Great defensive mind player. He's always on you if you're coming in. And can definitely never forget about Nathan Grosloff. He's just he's, a, he's very tricky, out there. He's a very tricky player. He's got the speed of his chair. And he may not have the, the strength, but he's got a very deceptive shot. And then uh, on the Michigan Mustangs, uh, looks like facing off number 23, uh, Kevin Confara. Uh, we've got number 20, and uh, his name is Zelko, Zelko. Barakovic. Uh, in the goalie position, we have Dean Olivias. And who's that young lady in the back? Over there? Oh. The young guy in the back there is um, Anthony Nelson. Anthony Nelson is a very good player, okay, that little Anthony. guy. The but little he's, guy, got, yeah. he's got a wealth of hockey knowledge. Awesome. All right, it looks like what? Calgary's Watch off to dominate the ball early. Good cover there by Kevin. You have to jump on Mike Faulkner very fast. You can't give him a chance to think because if you do, he's going to burn you each and every time. Yeah, he, uh, he, sh he showed that in the first game today. He scored a hat trick, three goals. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough game this morning. But as you can see, they also have Sean here. And Sean is a very, very, very smart player. He knows his position very well. He can drive that chair like no one I've ever seen. There's Falconer. Good pressure there by Kevin. Yeah, yeah, it looks like they're keeping the pressure on you him. You have to keep the pressure on him. Can't give him a chance to even breathe. See, he's always the first one back because he's got that very quick chair. Uh -huh. There's a chance. There's a chance right All right. Oh, but he gets oh, back, see? He's got that speed. And there's that backhand I was telling you about. Even Pops though that was down. just a clear, it gives yeah. him a chance. Yeah. And it goes out of bounds. Looks like Zelko is going to be matching up against Faulkner now. No, Kevin. Sorry. Oh. And he pops it out. Gonna have to do a redo. <laughs> Good pass there. Yeah. Mustangs are definitely good shot. That goal. Good block, good block by Zalco. Oh, good it picks good it clear, out. Good clear, good Shot by Falconer is just to the right. Nice, dumps it down. Falconer is just all over that ball. It's the speed of that chair and his hockey smarts and his stick handling ability that makes him such a dangerous player. Oh. Good chance nice. there, good chance there. Nice block good by the cover, Good cover, good cover. 
Michigan Mustang fans are out in full force. Yeah. And they got a big crowd here right now. They're going to be making a lot of noise. Good play there by, by Faulkner. Kamfara, he's, he's uh, playing that ball tap. Faulkner up the middle. Good pass. Kamfara kicks it out. Oh, not too far from the goal. Falconer, he's uh, trying to set up a breakaway here. Awesome ball handling. Oh, it's a goal. There's that backhand I was telling you about. That was awesome. He snuck that right, right by the goal. And that's a quick early lead by the Calgary Selects. One to zero over the Mustangs. That backhand's lethal. Lethal backhand. Lethal backhand. Is that a tough hit to do? It, it is a very tough hit to do. I, I mean, I've tried it, and not that easy to get it directly on net like that um, because you don't have... The backhand motion is a lot harder motion to control. It's like a hit or miss. So it's a lot of practice? Yeah, it's a lot of practice. I practice those more than I do my forehand. I got a lot of confidence in my forehand, and I know that it's very hard to get, the, get that backhand out. How many hours a week do you, uh, you, you typically practice? Um, typically practice two hours a week when uh, we're, we're training for this tournament uh, because, you know, it's about availability of the gym and whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we get the practice, we go at it hard, as I'm sure all the teams here have done. Yeah. So we got a... Nathan Grosloff is on that with Mike Faulkner. Tries to shoot it, but it's it's a little off. All right, All right little Anthony Nelson moves it down. And Faulkner's just back on that ball. I think what Michigan has to do here is try to crowd Mike Faulkner as much as possible to take him out of the game a bit. Because if they let him let him roam around like he's been doing, he's going to burn them. That's for sure. So Kirk, you just got married. I did. Congratulations. I did two weeks today, actually. Who's the lucky lady? Uh, her name is Alessia Di Virgilio. Uh, we met five years ago, and um, I introduced her to power hockey. She didn't want anything to do with power hockey. She didn't want anything to do with sports because it wasn't her cup of tea. Uh -huh. But now she's a very she's very active in the sport with me. She's actually on my team. Oh, that's awesome. Um, she um, is learning the game very well. Very defensive-minded player herself. Well, that's uh, that's great. We wish you a, a very long, happy marriage. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's all uphill. It just gets better and better. So I hear, so yeah. I hear. <laughs> Tell you, Mike Faulkner, man, he's great. He's, uh, he's like glue on that ball. Frank Rogers is now on defense. Mike Wagner looks like he's making a move here. You gotta pressure him a little bit more. They have to pressure him a little bit more. And he shoots. 
Good save. Yeah, good save. Lock, that's a good save. Anthony's gone. Oh, was Anthony. Oh! Good oh, shot good by shot. Anthony there. Good oh. shot. So you got a little tie up here. He's out in front, and there goes Keith Bourbonnet. He can, he's definitely a guy that can rush the play. Good try, good chance there by oh, Bourbonnet. Wow. Good block by the goalie. I think he's got his work cut out. Oh, he definitely yeah. does. But if they, he's got a great team with him that can definitely help him out. Like I said, I've been I've been fortunate to play these guys, and uh, they're a very tough team. They're doing well so far. Yeah. Ooh, Good steal by Anthony Nelson. Nelson. Kicks it out there. It down. Right. Frank with a good clear. Everybody clears. By Rogers. Lance, he's a addition to the Michigan Mustangs. He played on the um, North Carolina Fury last time I saw him in 2006. And he's been given an opportunity to play here with the Michigan Mustangs. Very smart player himself. He's had a couple of years under his belt now, so. Here comes Falconer. Beats Rogers, but no. Just wide, just wide. Oh, it's loose in front. Good clear, good clear. Dangerous area, though. Up in the air. Here comes Kevin. Right. Good click by Kevin. Oh, oh, good opportunity there. Good try. Good chance. Right. That was almost in. Almost in. Just off outside the play right now. Good chance by Kevin Confara there. Now, how difficult is it to pop that ball up and know how high it's going to go? It's another one of those hit or miss plays there. You know, you just hope that it lands in a good area for an opportunity if it doesn't go and maybe a rebound. Um, that's something else I practice. And uh, not, not easy at all, as you can, as you can see. Freezing now, face off. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in the first period. It's one to zero. Calgary Good slaps shot. on top. They have to get to Faulkner a little quicker. And Faulkner dumps it down the court. Rogers is there to pick it up. Here comes Anthony. Anthony. Good clear. Good cover by yeah. Frank. Good cover by Frank. That was a, that was a good cover uh, by Frank. Good, good dual tag team by Nelson and Rogers. That's what they need to do. They need to rush his shot. They need to pressure him each and every time he's got that ball on his blade. Just to shut him down. Yep. Every time.
shot there by Faulkner, but blocked by his own player. And Confara sends it out of bounds. Now, Confara is uh, one of their big scorers. Yeah, he's a recent addition to the team because I had never met him before, and I really don't know that much about him, but I've heard that he's got a wicked shot, and he's a true number one, which they've never had before. He's, uh, he's also been a four-time All-Star selection. It's been a great game so far, good, it has good opening been. period. Exciting. I like how the Mustangs are, uh, are uh, playing strong defense against uh, That's what they're known for, is their positional playing and their defense. And we got a new player in here for the Mustangs, uh, Jason Terpinski, number seven. Good save, good save. Dean, the goalie, he's, uh, he's playing tough today. He's a very tricky goalie to beat. You have to, you have to beat him with a quick, a quick high shot. He's got down low covered pretty well. And he's a, he's a five-time selection at All-Star team. You can see why. Yeah. Anthony Nelson. Oh, good, good clear there by, by Bourbon. That's, that's the end of the first period. That was, that was a good first period. Calgary selects up by one over the Michigan Mustangs. We'll be back in a few minutes for period number two. And welcome back. We're here at period two in the Power Hockey Cup 2008 tournament presented by Autobach. And we got the Calgary Selects and the Michigan Mustangs. Calgary's up by a point. Kirk, the Mustangs gonna come back here in the second period? I, I believe they've got their game plan down now that they've had the first period to feel out what Calgary's gonna bring to them. And we might see a shift in momentum. They've definitely been playing some tough defense. They uh, they sh shut down Mike Falconer. He got through once, but he's been pretty quiet since. A couple of backhands, but uh, they've they've pretty much covered him pretty well. Yeah. Here's That's Nathan. impressive. He's uh, he's not an easy guy to. Here's Nathan. There's, this guy's got some speed. Gross claws. And he's got a good good flick shot. Oh, I'm shot. Oh, and Dean holds him back. Falconer's coming back around. He's without his stick right now. Oh. It's out. Oh. Offside. That's exactly what they've got to do is just stay with them. And we got uh, Mo Gerhard, number eight for the Michigan Mustangs out there. He's wearing the red bandana. Oh! <laughs> Good chance. Just hit the top of the net there. He's playing it off his head, huh? Actually, at the top of the net. But I think he had it red all the way, though. And we had, uh, we had Mo Gerhard in for uh, the commentary on our first game today. It was a pleasure to work with, and we're looking forward to uh, seeing his power hockey skills out here. And here's a face-off between Confara and Falconer. Wide. They've got Faulkner tied up in there. Three people yeah. on him. It's tough to move when you have three people around here. Definitely. Throws Claus trying to set up something here. Out in front. Pass it in the fire. Oh, oh, good 
Good save. Good save by Dean. Dean, wow. He is impressive. It's very hard to beat that guy down low. Roslav behind the net. Trying to make something work here, but Mustang searches. There we go. Mustangs need to kick it out here. See what develops here. Gets it out, but stopped at the line. <laughs> Offside. An offside's call against. Calgary selects. Mm -hmm. We got a substitution. Oh, it looks here. like a penalty here. Yep, oh. Nathan Grozlov gets the penalty. Grozlov's out there. This is an opportunity that they have to capitalize on here. Because Nathan is definitely penalty. one of, the, one of the good players for Calgary. Former most valuable player for the tournament in 06. And this is a great opportunity for the Mustangs to come back with a tying score. Oh, oh Faulkner, he's got a wide open shot here. Can you get it in? Nope. Oh, nope. just missed. Oh, no score. Oh, nice, nice, nice pick up there. Nice pick up. Good pick up by Fallon. All under Kampara's wheel there. Go, Kev, go, Kev. Go, go, go. Oh. Coach Rogers with the stop. Good move by Frank Rogers there. Offside. Offside to the Mustangs. Good clear by Sean. Good back end, but just wide. All right, there are uh, only about 10 seconds left on this power play. Good moves by Lance, good moves. And Grosbaugh is back in the game. Good move by Faulkner there to get, to get free. He's got Roger to beat. Oh, right nice pass. Grosbaugh just coming in. Good shot. Oh, nice block. block. Good play all around there. We got a fight here right in front of us. I love these scrums. I love They're all working hard. I'm impressed with the aggressiveness of uh, little Anthony Nelson. 
like I said earlier, he's, he's got uh, great hockey knowledge and no fear, none whatsoever. He's, uh, he's out here against guys that are eight times the size. Yeah, don't don't let his, his size fool you. Yeah. Good move there again by Faulkner. Yeah, he's uh, up he's the middle. Consistently showing his moves. There's his ball handling skills. Oh, oh just over the post. Just there. over the top. So, Kirk, how did you get involved with power hockey? Um, I got involved in power hockey when I was 14 years old, when I first started high school in Toronto. Um, a couple of friends of mine uh, said to me, you know, we're playing hockey. And I'm like, oh. I didn't know that there was a hockey league out there. I joined and uh, fell in love with the sport, and I haven't left it ever since. And you've been playing how many years now? I've been playing 14 years. 14 years, that's fabulous. So half your life? Half my life. All right. And is, your wife's gonna continue to let you play, right? Well, I, I hope so. I hope she will. I mean, I hope she can take the play too. Oh, it's a score. Good goal there. Nice. Nice goal there by Sean. Looks like we had a... a number 61. Sean Bonds. Sean Bonds. It's a good goal. Good way to sneak it through. Mustangs have been playing hard, it's just that they haven't been able to get an opportunity just because of Mike Faulkner's speed. It's always on there, first one on. Oh, they, uh, they look like they've had a hard time getting in the you know, scoring position, getting many shots on goal. It's that speed and, and, their, and Cal the Calgary selects hockey awareness that is uh, very difficult to make to contain them. Pop up by Falcon. And Rogers is there to pick it up. As you can tell, there's always two on the ball for Calgary. Don't give you a chance to breathe. Get that out. Keep coming, Frank. Keep coming, Frank. That's There you go. That's right. That's right. And it's immediately sent back down to the Mustang territory. Ball out of play. And battle for the ball there. Anthony, come here. It looks like Anthony Nelson is getting subbed out for Fallon. Lance. it out. It's a race to the ball. Oh, and Lance comes up with it. Clears the zone. 
Faulkner there again. Uh, he's just too fast. That chair is amazing. And with his driving skill, it just makes it that much harder. It's, uh, he, he's consistently beating everyone out here today. Just oh. wide. And here's Falconer. He's got a wide open shot on the goal. Block. Good stop. Good stop by Dean. Nice stop. Get something opened up here. Wow, he's fast. They have to keep, try to keep it to the outside. They have to try. You got Confar in easier position said, to block him. Easier said than done, but that's what they need to do. Is try to keep him to the outside. Do not keep him in the middle at all. Clear by Anthony Nelson there. Timeout called by Calgary. And your wife plays power hockey. Yes. Is she? Uh, how does she compare to you? Uh, she's a very smart player. She doesn't have the strength that I have, but she has. She has a very smart brain, and she uses that to her advantage to uh, get the get into the play. You have a little rivalry between the two of you? Oh yeah, there, yeah. there is, definitely, definitely. Like, I think it keeps our marriage healthy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah as long as it's a healthy rivalry, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we've got a timeout here. We're waiting to... Uh, We're waiting to see if our uh, Michigan Mustangs can put some points up on the board. They're in tough. They're very, they're in tough. But if they just try to pressure the ball carrier at all times, regardless if it's Mike Fox or Nathan, uh, they can get their opportunities because they're going to have to create off of turnovers. The speed is killing them right now. It looks like uh, it's either going to have to be Confara or uh, Anthony Nelson. Do, do their scoring for him. Little Lance. Oh, you can't forget about Lance. Uh, Lance has also been playing. He's tough. a very, he's a very deceptive uh, player. He's got like a knuckleball shot where it doesn't look like it's gonna do anything, and all uh -huh. of a sudden the bottom drops out of it and it's in the net. He's got that tiny stick. Helps you with um, stick, stick handling and ball control. Uh -huh. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the short stick. I used to use a long stick. Yeah. Didn't help me out much. Uh, with a shorter stick now, it just it helps you generate that much more power because you're not exerting yourself lifting the heavy, long stick. And uh, you get a better accurate shot on net. Nathan with the ball, Anthony with the steal. Here comes an opportunity chance. Yeah, trying, to, trying to sneak one in here. Oh, almost. Ooh. Just off the, just wide of the posts. Good move there by Lance to get the ball in the corner. Nathan, Nathan is gone with the ball. Good clear by Nathan. Good 
good clear. Fire clears it up. Oh, and Lance is to the ball first. See if he can set something up here. Oh, nice pass. Oh, almost, oh. almost. Oh, he's got another shot. Oh, almost oh. Again. Good defensive cover there. Behind you, Nate. Oh, sorry. Let's get down. And Nate kicks it out. And we're nearing the final seconds here of the second period. Calgary selects up two to zero over the Michigan Mustang. Thirty seconds left. Set with the ball. Good steal oh. by Calgary. Let's see if he can set something up here in the final seconds. Good shot. Oh, right on the net. Nice. Oh, good save. Good save. Oh, they're digging. Oh. Five seconds left. That was a fantastic period. The Calgary Selects, two over the Michigan Mustangs was zero. We'll be back in a few minutes for third period. Welcome back. We're at the Power Hockey Cup 2008. It's presented by Autobach. And uh, we've got a good game here. Uh, the Michigan Mustangs are playing tough defense. Uh, the favorite Calgary Selects are up by two, but they've, uh, they've played tough so far. We got Confara facing off against Falconer. It's crunch See, time now for the Michigan Mustangs. They must score. Get a re face off here. Oh, and Anthony Nelson, Nelson, Nelson with the ball quick. quick. He's hovering in front. That's what they need to do to try to contain him. He's surrounded by blue right now. Again, clears the ball. The ball behind Drabinski and Brasla. It's underneath Lance's chair. They're digging for it. Shot. Good stop. Good stop. Yeah, Dean has been very impressive today. He has been. He has been. He's one of the better goalies in this tournament. Oh, almost. Oh. Almost sprung Lance there for a break. Okay, stopped it at the time. And there's Falcon beating Confara to the ball. 
that speed. As they say, speed kills. We're seeing it here. Good last oh, second, good last see. second, good <laughs> last second save there. Do you know what I was doing? It's tough for a goalie to see the ball when it's under a chair, and that's what happened there. You gotta have a, some extra eyes. Mike Faulkner's got a chance. Oh, oh. good stop. Good pass well, there. Uh, oh. Just wide, just this wide. One. Pressure on Faulkner, they can't let up. Oh! Good stick save by nice Green. Save. He's trying to take a shot from half court there. All right, Lance is trying to get something going here, and where Faulkner says no. Good save there again by Dean. Ball loose in front. Lance with the clear. Anthony and uh, Grossclaws are fighting for it. Come in, come in. Ball offside. Up. And not quite. Kevin Kapara clears the ball. Nice. Got a chance at the net. No. Good, good follow up by Drabinski there. He was right there all along with him. And Calgary Selects just continually denying any scoring uh, possibilities. They, by the they swarm you. As, as I found out this morning, they swarm you. Goes up. We've got eight minutes and 40 seconds left in the third period. Mustangs are down by two, and they need to score here quickly. Yes, they do, to have a chance. I mean, the score doesn't really indicate how uh, Michigan's played. And it shows that they've been blanked, but they've, they've really played tight defense. And they've had some opportunities, but they need to try to generate some more before the period. Ends. And there's Mo. Cool. Little uh little wheel rub in there. Oh, oh, clear. oh wow. good. He clear. good clear by Dean. Mike Faulkner calling for the ball. Good save oh, again by Dean. Shoots again. Trying to bank it off the goalie there to put it in. Faulkner again. That flip shot's dangerous. Faulkner's got a lot of shots, huh? Yeah, he definitely does. Another shot oh. just wide of the post. 
Dean, the goalie, is playing an amazing game. It's Definitely. It, this game could easily be 10 to nothing if uh, Dean Most wasn't definitely. stopping so many goals. He's definitely the MVP for the Michigan Mustangs right now. That stings when that hits you in the chest like that. Stings? Oh, definitely. I've had a few. That ball uh, gets some speed up. Yeah, definitely get the imprints on your chest and on your face when that hits you. Bourbonnet there again. Let's keep the ball in play. Oh, just oh. wide of the post. All right, let's see if the Mustangs can get something going here. Coming in in fours. Good moves there got, by Lance. Yeah, they got they got their ball handlers. See, that's where the short stick really does come into play is when you're making moves like that. It doesn't roll off your stick as much as it would uh, if you had a long stick. Now, how about getting a, the power on your hit? Do you lose that with the short stick? No, you don't. I, uh, personally, I think you gain it. Um, I used to use a very long stick. I used to have the longest stick in the league. But then I just decided one day I was going to try the shorter stick, and I think it generates more power. That's fascinating. With the shorter stick. Oh, Lance trying to sneak one around. Good, good right, cover there by Mo. The keep the Mustangs with some scoring possibilities. And Mo is chasing that down. All right. Let's see if Lance can get something going here. Good save wow. again by Dean. Impressive. Good steal there by Anthony and puts it in their zone. Back down. And we got a race here between Sean and Lance. And Anthony Nelson has it. Oh. They need they need to go. Michigan needs to go all out now. Good by, good keep in by Mo. Mike Faulkner steals it. Oh, and he's fighting with him. Oh, good save again good by Dean. And uh, young Anthony Nelson, nickname is the Magic Man. He needs to work some magic here and get the uh, get the Mustangs and, up and on the board. And the next three minutes and thirty seconds. Battle down in the corner there. We got a we got a little scrum. They're running out the clock. Oh, Lance, Lance comes got, up with it. Got ahead there. Oh. oh, good move, good move. Oh, see what happens here. Sean's gone. Number sixty-one. Close. 
trying to get a shot on goal here. There's a scrum going on here. Sean and Mike are not letting them shoot. And little Anthony right in the middle of all, all of this. He's always in the middle of stuff. Mike clears it out. Just over two minutes remaining. Just under two minutes to go. When he gets in there like that, he likes to go back hands up these boards. Don't fall for it. So you feel power hockey's had a big impact on your life? It has, it has. Uh, I also coach a junior league up in Toronto. Oh, fabulous. Uh, what, what by, the, by the team of the same name as my team right now, the Lake Raiders. Uh, between, so my kids are between the ages of nine and uh, 14. That's fantastic. Do you enjoy being a coach? I do. I, I, I love it almost as, lo as much as I love playing. Because it's a different perspective of the game. You know, when you're in the game, you don't get to see everything that's going on because you're so focused on what you need to do. As a coach, you get to sit back and uh, see what goes on, impart some knowledge, especially the kids that soak it up like a sponge. And I really enjoy the bunch of kids that I have on my team. That's great. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure your kids uh, teach you some things too. Oh, about they the game. They, de they definitely have. They they've actually mellowed me out. I used to be a real hothead playing the game, snapping at everything. Yeah. I used to be a real hothead, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, they they just taught me how to keep my cool and uh, enjoy the sport. Really enjoy the sport. And um, they've actually added a few years to my playing career, actually just because I enjoy the sport a lot more now that I uh, am a coach. That's great. It's good to hear. Oh! Oh! Anthony good Nelson! Goal. Good goal by Anthony wow. Nelson there. Wow! What a shot. Nice shot. That had some hang time on it. There's still, there's still plenty of time, believe it or not, with, the, with 47 seconds left on the clock. If they can get something going quick. Are, are they going to pull their goalie now? Uh, it, one it, point. Look, it looks like they have. It looks. Michigan calls timeout. It looks like they are going to pull their goalie. This game has suddenly just got very exciting. Oh, yeah. We got the Michigan fans going crazy. Don't turn off your computers just yet. This <laughs> is going right down to the wire. So a uh, team's practice the strategy of pulling the goalie when they're down by one with a minute to go. Well, especially in the tournament, you've, you've got to go for wins if you want to advance. So you've got to try. Well, that was an amazing goal by Anthony. Had so much hang time. and It's hard for goalies to read those because you don't know exactly where they're falling. You're watching the ball spin. You're thinking maybe it'll go wide, maybe it won't, and then bang, it's in the net. It's right there. Well, he lived up to his nickname, the Magic Man. There Pulled a little magic out of his hat here in go. the final seconds. They're gonna need. Uh, they're gonna need one more magical. Uh, There's still plenty goal. of time to do it. If, if, got they, if they can, if they can generate something really quick, get some shots on net. I think they can do it. They're deep in strategy over there in the Mustang bench. Definitely. Pretty sure not one of the players are talking right now. So are you a tough coach? Um, I, I try to be fair, but firm. You know, I I never try to single out a uh, player. I always use the word we, so that not one single player feels that they've let the team down. Uh, and I think my kids really enjoy playing for me because I don't try to single anybody out. I mean, it's a team sport. We win together, we lose together, we do great plays together, and we make mistakes together. Even me as a coach. Alright, 40 seconds. 
Nathan's good with the ball. He, like, he, he can waste time. Falconer is holding on to it. There's Anthony Nelson trying to pressure him. 26 seconds left. And we've got to get something going here. They've really dominated these last couple minutes here in Michigan Mustangs. Oh! Oh! oh. Shot front! Rebound! Still there in front! Still there in front! There's a chance! Oh! Just... Oh! Right down the line! Wow! Great game! Great game! What a fabulous game! Great game! Mustangs played incredibly hard. They were definitely an underdog out here, but they... They played... Every bit is tough. All right, Kirk, we need to uh, pick a player of the game. Um, I would have to say uh, Keith Bourbonnet from Calgary Selects. He played a very uh, well-rounded game. He was on offense. He was on defense. He was everywhere. He kept the ball in play for Calgary, generating chances for them. So I, I would go with uh, Keith Bourbonnet. I totally agree with you. Number 21, Keith Bourbonnet. We'll... Uh, take a break here and be back with an interview with Keith.